Welcome back guys and thanks for checking out another video. So Patrick brought his EG hatchback in for a tune today and uh, we, we got some really good numbers out of it and we uh, did some testing and we've got some really interesting results. So I thought I'd make a video and share it with you guys. So um, like I said, this is a EG hatchback. It's a 1992 Honda Civic hatchback. Um, Patrick has basically turned this into his track toy. Um, <clears throat> got it, basically gutted interior meant for lapping, grip racing. I've already tuned the car, and like I said, it's put down some interesting numbers. Like usual, I'm gonna go through all the details of the build. We'll cut to some shots of the dyno pulls, and then I'll share the results with you. In regards to the build, this has got the go-to swap. It is a K24 swap, uh, six-speed transmission. The motor is almost internally stock. It has the RSX Type S oil pump, but other than that, it's completely stock. Stock cams, stock DTC cam gears. This happens to be a JDM engine. It's a K24A JDM engine. Unfortunately, we don't know which version it is, like what car it came out of. Uh, you never know with these JDM K24As. They, there's all kinds of different cars that these K24s came out of, and some perform really well, some don't perform so well. This one performed really well. This happens to be the RVV-2 casting. Uh, we don't, not sure the year of the engine, Either way, it performed really well. So you might be wondering why the intake is sticking up out of the engine bay. And it's because we did a bit of testing at the end of the tune and found some very interesting results. Um, but I'll go through all the details. So normally this setup has this three inch uh, short ram, call it intake, and it sits down behind the rad here and it sucks in nothing but hot air from the rad. And we were seeing crazy intake air temps, uh, 140 degrees, it's only, like 74 degrees here in the shop today. And we're seeing basically double that in intake air temps. So I tuned it, made the power that it made, still made good power like that, but then we decided to turn it up and test it like this. Um, and I'll share with you the results in a bit, but so like I said, it's got a three inch short ram intake to a skunk to throttle body, a port and polished RBC intake manifold, 1000 CC injectors. It, like I said, basically internally stock K24A, it has a K-tuned big tube header, uh, three inch exhaust, Walbro 255 fuel pump. I tuned it on K-Pro. It has 91 pump octane gas in the tank. And that's about it. It's a pretty super simple setup. And uh, why don't we cut to some shots of the dyno poles and then I'll share the results. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed those dyno pulls, but I'm sure you're more interested in what this car put down today. Um, like I said, we did a bit of experimenting and we tested it out with the intake sticking up out of the engine bay and then also down like it is right now. And you can see it better now how this is a problem. So where the filter is picking up air is basically right behind the rad fan and it's blowing hot air right into the intake and onto the air temperature sensor. And this setup, although like it's free flowing, the issue is with all this hot air, it's gonna kill power. Um, it's also with the fan blowing the hot air on the air temp sensor, the air temperature sensor gets actually hotter than it should be reading. And the ECU doesn't like that and it does all kinds of different things like it pulls timing and adds fuel and messes up the tune. So what we did was we disconnected it, stuck the intake up, up sticking out of the hood so that it was getting nice airflow from the fans, and it dropped intake temps from 140 
down to basically the seven degrees of ambient temperature in the shop. So, uh, results. This setup made 236 horse, 181 foot pounds torque with the intake breathing in hot air like this setup. Then when we switched the intake around to the cold air setup where it was sticking out of the hood, the car made significantly more power. The blue line is what it made when it was cold. And you'll see we made nearly 10 more horse, 245 horse, 195 foot pounds torque. I did zero changes to the tune. All it was was changing the intake from this hot air setup to the cold air setup. And we made this much extra power. So basically just an FYI guys, when you are setting up your, your intake, like your, basically your filter, your intake tube, you should really consider where you're placing the filter. You do not want it to be sucking in nothing but hot air. Um, if you can get it so it sucks in cool air, you're going to make significantly more power. And realistically, th these gains cost nothing. All we did was we turned the intake from sucking in hot air to cold air. So uh, I think the owner's going to redo his intake and maybe try to have the intake suck air from in there shield and shield it from uh, the hot air so that he can have this power all the time. So anyways, that's about it. Um, 245, 195 are is fantastic numbers for this com basically completely stock K24. It is it just has the oil pump. Uh, it still has its stock 25 degree VTC cam gear wheel. Great numbers today. So anyways, that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you like it, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And I will continue making these videos for you guys. So thanks again, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.